Okay, so we got the 50 edition up on the stand, and we're going to replace the idler wheel block on the unit. This is what they look like. This one here, if you recall from the Kearney video last year, somebody left a, a note on the machine that the one idler wheel was falling off. So, so idler wheels bent. Your idler wheel's coming off. Is there a guy's name on the back of the card? Alan. <laughs> Alan. I'll cover the number, obviously. No, that's fine. That's awesome. Well, it wasn't falling off. It's just that this idler wheel block that this is mounted to is worn out right here. And it may be just from running it loose, the previous owner, that type of thing. I've already had it off. The bearing is good. The wheel is good. So it's really just this has some weird wear on it. Maybe you hit a rock and it jammed that wheel sideways and it just stayed like that. But when it's on the ground, it's a lot worse, a lot more pronounced, but that has to be fixed. The other ones are perfect. So let's get to it right now. I'm just gonna pry off the, the cap behind there. It's just a rubber plug. Just get behind there and pop it. Just like that. Pop the cap and then it's a 10 millimeter bolt there. There's a there's a 10 millimeter nut on the back too, so we gotta grab a wrench for that. There we go. Cheating a bit because I already had this apart to uh, figure out whether I needed a bogey wheel or what was going on here. Could have been a bogey wheel, could have been a bearing, but I locked out and uh, so there's the bolt. There's the nut. Just like that. This should pop off like so. And then there's a uh, there's a little uh, nut, bolt and nut on the bottom of this thing as well. Again it's 10 mil. So let me show you on that new block. That block looks like that, so we have to hit it underneath, like you're seeing there. Pretty simple. You're not an idiot like me. I gotta get a smaller 10 mil socket here. And fart. You gotta fart. Warm up the garage a bit. Hey, I didn't say it was a family family channel. Don't always fart, but when I do, I'm working on skidoos. And if you can never find a 10 mil, you're an idiot. Nine. Eleven. refrain from any more farting as we're getting near the explosives. There we go. There's the nut and there's the bolt. Put that back together. There's the old bracket. I got I got this one at, at a used parts guy, and I bought a snow flap for the other sled, so he didn't even charge me for it. So most used got parts guys have bins of them kicking around, so don't be afraid to ask. And then this, I'm just going to tap that off, just like that. That's the old one, and you can see. Hopefully, you can see there the new one and the old one. And there's the flat spot. You can see it's not even straight around if I if I do that with it. It's kind of it's kind of oblong too. So definite difference. So that one's done. It's just like that.
Pretty simple task. Spins nice. Slide that on. Looking like new already. Fast Eddie might be going to the new home. He's for sale right now. We're just going to run the great one this year and, you know, hope for the best. It's going to be good. Would like to keep them both, but you know I love my 800 E Tech Renegade too much to to go down yet. If it was if it was next year and another three four thousand kilometers on the 800, then it would be a different story. I'd keep both as 50 editions, but you know I just can't uh, can't swing it. You know, but no power mods. <laughs> We only have a few sleds in the barn, a few, few thoroughbreds in the stable. You just want to make sure that it rolls nice and even. There you go. It doesn't have to be superhuman tight. And then we can pop that cap back on. Just like that. And we're done. That's it. That's how you either change the bogey wheel or change the actual bogey wheel mount on a skidoo. Rev XP. Thanks for watching.